So what can we do? How can we uh, end uh, Parkinson's disease? So in our book, uh, Ending Parkinson's Disease, written for you, lots of pictures in uh, big, uh, big print uh, throughout uh, the book. So it's uh, easy to read. Um, we outline a PACT, P-A-C-T, to end uh, Parkinson's disease. And the first step to that PACT, the first step to any pandemic, any crisis, is to contain it and to prevent its spread. And the way we can prevent the spread of, of Parkinson's disease in the United States and around the world is by banning Paraquat and trichloroethylene. Over 30 countries have done so for uh, Paraquat, and some European countries have done so for trichloroethylene. There are safer, at least uh, marketed safer, alternatives to using these uh, chemicals, and we should uh, uh, end uh, 50 years of Paraquat and 100 years of trichloroethylene uh, is enough. We also need to clean up these contaminated sites, remediate them, and prevent uh, the toxic effects from harming any more children, adults, or older adults. There are things that we can do as individuals to lower our risk of uh, Parkinson's disease. Vigorous exercise in your 40s, 50s, and 60s can decrease your risk of uh, Parkinson's disease by 20%. A Mediterranean diet, low in animal products, high in fruits and vegetables can also help. Caffeine uh, appears to also be uh, a beneficial effect in terms of lowering your risk of Parkinson's disease. If you like to bicycle or ski, you should wear a helmet because head trauma increases your risk of uh, Parkinson's disease. In addition to preventing, uh, preventing the disease, we need to make our voices heard. There are 1.2 million Americans with the disease, the world's fastest growing disease, but you hear relatively little about Parkinson's disease. Indeed, the NIH budget for Parkinson's disease adjusted for inflation has uh, decreased over the last 10 years. At the same time, the number of Americans with the disease has increased 30%. I don't know any other disease where the number of people with that disease in the United States has increased 30% and funding from the NIH has actually decreased when adjusted for inflation. Give you a flavor, we spend $250 million from the NIH on Parkinson's disease. Medicare alone spends $25 billion, over $100, $100 for every $1 that NIH spends on uh, investigating research into Parkinson's disease. We spend $100 on caring for people with the disease. And we don't even care for people with the disease all that well. It turns out that over 40% of Medicare beneficiaries with Parkinson's disease with a common brain disease do not see a neurologist within four years of diagnosis. Those individuals who don't see a neurologist are more likely to fracture their hip, more likely to be placed in a skilled nursing facility, and more likely to die. In the United States, a country that spends 40% more on healthcare than any other nation in the world, we have people who die prematurely from Parkinson's disease, likely because they can't access the care that they need. One of the silver linings of the COVID-19 pandemic has been the broad spread, widespread adoption of telemedicine. That uh, was due to changes in Medicare that are temporary. They're tied to the public health emergency. We need to make those uh, changes to telemedicine coverage permanent so anyone anywhere can receive the care that they need. And finally, we need better treatments for the disease. Uh, there are few conditions uh, in modern medicine for which the most effective medication is 50 years old. Uh, that shouldn't be a badge of pride. Uh, that should be a something to make us question our current approaches. We've had more therapeutic breakthroughs for Parkinson's disease last century than we've had this century. We need better objective measures of Parkinson's disease, of Alzheimer's disease, and many brain diseases so we can find better treatments uh, for these conditions faster. So what can you do right now? If I've gotten you fired up, I hope I have. You can read our book, uh, Ending Parkinson's Disease. You can purchase it on Amazon right now. All of the authors, uh, Dr. Todd Shear, Michael Oaken, Boss Bloom, and I are devoting all of our proceeds to efforts to stop uh, Parkinson's disease. So by buying this book, you're helping us uh, take efforts to prevent and end this disease. If you cannot afford a copy of the disease, you just email us at info at endingpd.org. Tell us your mailing address and we'll send you one for free. But if you can afford one, purchase on Amazon or your favorite bookseller. But if you can't afford it, and I know some of you can't, just email us and we'll send you a complimentary a copy. It'll be our pleasure. Second thing you can do is you can join the PD Avengers, a global grassroots organization founded by people with Parkinson's disease, has 5,000 members from over 80 countries and 80 partner organizations. I'm proud to be a PD Avenger. You can go to pdavengers.com right now and join it. Third, uh, I mentioned that this is Parkinson's Disease Awareness Month. On April 23rd, you can join us, including me, in Central Park in New York City for the Parkinson's Unity Walk. Uh, before the COVID-19 pandemic, this walk attracted over 10,000 people. We'd love to see 20,000 people join us for the largest Parkinson's walk. 
ever. And you can just go to unitywalk.org to join. There's no fee uh, to participate in the walk. Finally, there's a new spark that's being uh, ignited. We hope in part by the book, we hope by uh, you all uh, participating in this great healthcare conference. Go to worldparkinsonsday.com and share the spark to get the words out about Parkinson's disease. If you have any questions, ideas, comments, if you disagree, if you have a great story to tell, please let me know. Uh, email us at info at endingpd.org. I read every email that comes in. Uh, through that website. Again, info at endingpd.org. I'm just going to conclude with the final thing that we, there are certain things that we've inherited from previous generations. We largely live in a world free of polio. We live in a world where HIV is treatable and preventable. We live in a world where drinking and driving is socially unacceptable. We, these are gifts that we've inherited. It's time for us to reciprocate. It's time for us to work together to develop a world where future generations will see Parkinson's disease not as the world's fastest growing disease, but one that is extraordinarily rare. Mm -hmm.